So it's been a very interesting turn in Minnesota politics. Some might even call it DFL musical chairs. It all started when Attorney General Lori Swanson decided to run for governor. And since yesterday was the deadline to file for the open state and congressional seats, Congressman Keith Ellison threw his name in the hat for her job. Well, once Ellison's fifth seat uh, opened up, multiple Democrats also jumped into that race. You have State Representative Ilhan Omar. She is the nation's first Somali-American legislator. You have State Senator Patricia torres Ray, State Senator Bobby Joe Champion, former House Speaker Margaret Anderson Kelleher, and Ellison's ex-wife and Minneapolis school board member Kim Ellison. And, and Esme, I think what really surprised people yesterday was this Keith Ellison news, that right. he will be not be uh, running again for his congressional seat, but he will be throwing in his hat for the state attorney this general. Is, is that like a it, lateral move? It is an extraordinary move. Um, Keith Ellison could be a member of Congress for life. It's the right. most, it's the second most Democratic con uh, congressional seat in the country. You know, he, he had it set for, for 30 years. He was locked in. He yeah. was locked in. He did this because he really believes that as attorney general, he can actually advance some of the progressive causes he believes in. This is a very risky move, though. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not clear if he can win a statewide race. He is an African American. He is extremely liberal. Mm -hmm. He is a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And so this is a bold move by Keith Ellison. Well, well he may not win the primary. I mean, there are some it, heavy it, it, hitters in that abs primary. Abs absolutely. And I think the primary is, is the key race here. But, you know, and, and also, he had a guaranteed job that made $174,000 right. a year. And it's. He's, he's, try, he's does, trying to run for a race he might not win that pays $114,000 a year. Does this go to the point that not only are Americans disgusted with the fact that Congress appears to do virtually nothing, <laughs> but here's a guy in Congress who feels like he can make more of a difference in a job that I think typically people mm -hmm. thought of as an important job, Attorney General, but right. not on the level well, of being I, I a think, congressperson. I think this goes to Keith Ellison. Um, Keith Ellison was the first member of Congress to endorse mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders for president. Right. Everyone thought... What is he doing? Right. And mm -hmm. lo and behold, Bernie Sanders became yeah. a major force in that 2016 presidential race. I think this says a lot about Keith Ellison. It is a very risky move, though, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are very surprised. I mean, so you already have five people that have said they yeah. want to replace Ellison. Any front runners at this point for that seat? You know, well, you, you've got Representative Ilan Omar, who was just in a Maroon 5 video. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, I mean, she's, you know, definitely somebody who's. But she's also a rookie. She is a rookie, but you've got, you know, rep uh, former uh, Speaker. Uh, Margaret Anderson Kelleher. Right. Who's been around in Minnesota yes. politics. Julie well Sabo, the daughter of the former uh, holder of that seat in the 5th mm -hmm. Congressional District. Right. Uh, this Sabo's is this is yeah. Keith Ellison's ex-wife. Keith Ellison's ex-wife, whose name is obviously Kay, Kay Ellison. Ellison. Right. Um, it, it, this is really an uh, unbelievable set of events. I mean, Minnesota politics has been pretty crazy for years. Yeah. This has been pretty crazy. Yeah. Unbelievable set of events even in the governor's race. I mean, you have five major candidates Absolutely. going out there, uh, and that has also really changed over this past week. Any front runners in that one? Do we even know at this point? You know, I think the thing to remember here is that four years ago, 10% of Minnesota voters, 10% voted in that August primary. Right. And that is something that's very critical here. Mm -hmm. So folks, if you're listening out there, your vote really does matter. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And I, I, These I are great candidates. And so these, if you look at both of these players. races. Absolutely, right. Jason. These are people on both sides yeah. who are extraordinarily well qualified. Right. So voters really take a look. Yeah. And hopefully more than 10% of the voters will go to the polls. I mean, we can yeah. focus on the crazy, but it's also right. pretty cool that you have people, all of these candidates, mm -hmm. who've dedicated absolutely. much of their lives to public service. Clearly. Cool. Yes. Yeah. So get out Thanks, and vote Esme. in August. Yes. Indeed.